Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Last time we went to the Giovanni Mansion, did a couple of side quests where, um, well one side quest really, where we uh, had to pick through three different prospective Giovanni members of the family to bring, um, you know, well, what's it called? Like blackmail the others, well not even blackmail, just bring the dirty laundry out to the head of the Giovanni so that they can be uh, guaranteed to be embraced and they'll help us out in the future if we want to become Giovanni, which we, we, we can't. We're not human. We're already vampires. Um, after scouring through the Giovanni mansion, uh, we eventually found our way to the catacomb area and fought the... Um, Quajin. Yeah, I believe it was the Quajin, the Eastern vampires, who were guarding the sarcophagus, funnily enough. And before we fought them, they said that we had some kind of an alliance. Uh, sorry, they had an alliance, the Eastern vampires, the Quajin, with Prince LaCroix. And that us by us being there, we are breaking that alliance. So, not sure exactly what they're talking about. We brought the sarcophagus to the prince. Let's see what happens now. Can we talk to Beckett first? Cannot talk to Beckett. My Wunderkind returns. In my entire court, I knew there was only one who could have succeeded in this task. Finally, the Ankaran sarcophagus is ours. Come, I've granted Beckett's request to study and document all the markings of the sarcophagus. You've met Beckett, haven't you? Let's go take a look inside, and see what the commotion around the city has really been all about. Okay, before we do that, I need an answer. Are you in alliance with the Kuei Jin? What? Preposterous! No kindred would trust them, nor would they trust us. Did Jack tell you that? Because it sounds like you've been taken for a fool. I was told by the Kuei Jin agents sent to steal the sarcophagus. And you believed them. They've been trying to take over L.A. for years. It's a ruse, a falsehood, spread to undermine my rule and turn kindred against each other, thin mm. our ranks. They are duplicitous, evil creatures. Did they not try to kill you? Yes, but... Insurance. They lied to you in case you lived through the encounter. They hoped to create dissension in the ranks, rumors. It's a trick older than you or I. I'm going to flat out tell him. I don't believe him. I'll indulge your baseless paranoia no further. Let's open the sarcophagus. What have you assessed so far? Unfortunately for the Heralds of Doom, it appears we won't be opening Pandora's box. The markings, as far as I can tell, are of Assyrian origin. An extraordinary piece, but nothing earth-shattering. I see. Then there is no good reason why we shouldn't open it. <clears throat> Oh, budge. That's a good reason. Beckett, do you see any mechanism for the lid? I haven't as yet had a chance to pour over it with my fine-tooth comb. I think I have one in my bag. <laughs> Why won't it... Why won't it open, Beckett? And you, I thought you said it looked as if it had been opened on the Dane. I want it open! You, you and Beckett, figure out a way to open it. I need to know what's inside. I have other matters to attend to. Come get me when a solution has been found. Ah, the depths to which I'll sink to prove others wrong. The young ones get so temperamental. Fortunately for Sebastian, is it? I'd already made up my mind to open the sarcophagus, if only to show the city that Gehenna, contrary to popular belief, has not begun. Is it a popular belief? What do you think's inside? Put your ear to it. I'll shake it, and you tell me what you think's inside. Oh, fuck off, Beckett. All right, stupid question. How do we open it? Hmm. Fortunately for us, I know of someone who has distinguished himself in this field. The guy on the historical network with the pith helmet? No, I'm not going to say it. Ooh. 
His name is Dr. Anders Johansson, a professor of archaeology from Norway. He was the one responsible for finding the sarcophagus, and as far as I know, the only authority on its origin and design. So why isn't he here? Until yesterday, he could have been found in his suite at the Empire Hotel downtown. But when I stopped by earlier this evening, all I found was spilt co Oh, whoops. Sorry, I, I skipped it. I didn't mean to. Spilt coffee on a morning paper. Appears he's been abducted. Damn it, why does everything have to be so difficult? Where's the fun without complications? So where is he? Well, how the fuck is he supposed to know? I detected the scent of myrrh incense, which is usually burned in monasteries. Also, I found beach sand in part of a muddy footprint. Putting two and two together, I located a monastery near a beach in Malibu, where I believe hunters are holding Johansson captive. You figured all that out from sniffing around his room? Actually, there were two hunters on the roof of the building opposite the hotel who were positively delighted to tell me everything they knew, provided I stopped dangling them headfirst over the side. Hunters have this guy? What would hunters want with an archaeologist? The hunters abducted Dr. Johansson for his own protection, or at least that's how they've justified it. He's being held by the Society of Leopold and used, quite ingeniously, as bait for Prince LaCroix's minions. The Society of Leopold. Sebastian mentioned you ran into one of the hunters from the Society of Leopold some time ago. They're so secret a church organization, I don't even think they know if they exist. But essentially, they're murderers for Christ, or some such deity. For those of you that don't remember, we came across the Grunfeldbach. Grunfeldbach. There we go. Uh, when we were going after the Malkavian, uh, Malkavian primogen, um, and like the whole mansion started, you know, going up in flames, we came across him. He's uh, one of the Society of Leopold. Um, okay, so. So how do we get him out? You'll have to go to the monastery and find a way into the tunnels beneath where the hunters are holding Johansson. I'm afraid I can't accompany you, but then it's best you go alone. Too many of us might set them off, like fundamentalists on contrary opinion. You're not going? It's not that I don't love walking into the heart of danger to curry favor with the local magistrate of the hour. But, actually, that's exactly it. I'd rather not get involved in the politics of it. Besides, I'd better document the sarcophagus before Sebastian's goon smashes it open. You could have just said because I'm afraid to go. Guess I'll go alone. I wouldn't recommend walking. Certainly Sebastian's already provided cab fare. I'm sure he always spares no expense when archaeology is at stake. Okay, I have a few questions. Excellent. Anything else you could tell me about the Society of Leopold? The Society, for the most part, knows very little about us. But they do know how to kill and torture us, and that's enough. Also, some of them exhibit powers that can make them quite formidable. Best not to announce yourself. You spoke of Gehenna before. You think the sarcophagus is part of it? Well, if we open it up and the world ends, then yes. If we open it up and the world does not end, then no. I'd wager the latter. Thanks, Beckett. Thanks. Have you learned anything else about the Thin Bloods? How any sane kindred could think these poor unfortunates are an immediate threat to us is absurd. Most were afraid, or at the very least uneasy, around me. Tragic. Their desperation could very well hold the spark of revolution, however. Okay, tell me about yourself. Hmm, I've said quite a lot about myself already. I know even less about you than you do me. Why don't you tell me about yourself? Uh, 
I mean, you barely told me anything. I appreciate your interest in me. I'm fascinated by you. Then I'll let you in on a little secret. Beckett may not be the name I was born with. Yeah, I figured that. Events always seem to unfold wherever I go. Like Chicago a few years ago. Oh, it's a bother to explain. Either I'm pursuing fate, or it's got a bone to pick with me. Unless you've got further questions, I'd really like to get back to looking at the sarcophagus. Okay, I'd like to ask the president something first. Um, I'm actually going to take a quick break, guys. Uh, I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Alright, Mr. LaCroix... Did you find a way to open the sarcophagus? Getting the sarcophagus back was quite an expensive ordeal. I can't have my protege looking plebeian, can I? No, you can't. You'll find I can be very generous towards those who serve me well. I should hope so. Uh, okay, sure. Did I mention I had to slink through sewers, Chinatown, fight a Samizzi? Point made. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, that's pretty funny. Uh, thanks, I had a question. Which is? What do you think about the Kuei Traditionally, the Kuei has stayed in Asian territory, and the kindred Europe, and later North America. But recently, they invaded the West Coast, killing off a substantial number of Anarchs. They lack the organization of the Camarilla, and think nothing of breaking the masquerade. Though we share similar traits, there is no fraternity between us. We embrace... They rise from the grave. They do not know the pleasure of blood. They are without clan. And oh yes, they believe our kind to be inferior. They are as much of a threat as the wolves. Wolves? Werewolves. I can still recall a time when cities were surrounded by miles of forests full of the beasts. But progress has taken care of that problem. I had another question. Which is... What do you think is inside the sarcophagus? If you didn't take the time to ask, perhaps we'd know by now. As I mentioned before, my concern is that it pertains something supernatural. Now, Beckett has waved this theory altogether. The city is alight with dread. Perhaps it's an antediluvian. Antediluvian? A joke. The antediluvians are the mythical progenitors of each of the clans for whom they trace their bloodlines. And according to mythology, descendants of Cain... The legendary first vampire. Cain? As in the biblical Cain and Abel? Before you put too much stock in it, realize that the church and all of its mythos are blends of kindred and mortal meddling. Whips to regulate weak minds. This is all Beckett's field of expertise. If you want a lesson, merely ask him. I will. Okay. Um, okay, before I make off to the Society of Leopold. I'm just gonna tour around each city, um, making my rounds, kind of just making sure, you know, nothing new has popped up. Oh, buddy. Whoo! I mean, is this better than a katana? It is. Lethality is 13, lethality is 12. You know what? I'm, I'm keeping what I have. Damn, man. Okay. Yes. Here's the book you're looking for. The Voce del Morte. The Giovanni never willingly share their secrets, and I've had little success infiltrating their strongholds. How did you obtain this? Uh, they were a little distracted, so I was able to slip in under the radar. It will take some time to translate and unlock the secrets of this. I will have to move on from the city to evade any Giovanni seeking it. Take this. This will complete the terms we agreed to, and I think it is adequate compensation. It is the key of Alamut. It instills dread in those that would harm you, and makes it harder for them to strike you. Make no mistake, our dealings do not make us allies. If indeed we meet again, do not ask me for any favors. 
I will give you this final advice, however. Leave this city. These are its final nights. Discord looms heavy. I've felt this before. What do you mean? In November of 1938, I was translating documents in Leipzig, Germany, written by a purported Crusades-era necromancer. There also, I felt a sense of impending chaos. Soon after was the Kristallnacht, the wellspring of a new world war. I see. I'll take that into consideration. So... The, okay, so these ones have been carried by the feared assassins of class clan Asamite for millennia, one of only a handful still in existence. This key of Alamo gives its owner extraordinary resilience to damage, increases all soak ratings by one. Pretty cool. We have 19 points as well, which is awesome. You know, in hindsight, now that we have the, um, now that we have this items, the Solicept, probably shouldn't have, uh, completed all my side missions before, uh, before going to the Giovanni mansion. That's what you have for trying to be a completionist. Heard anything? Quajin told me they have an alliance with LaCroix. What? Who said it? Uh, some Quajin right before I killed him. Uh, uh, if this is true, listen, I can't believe even LaCroix's that low, but keep an eye on this. If there's anything I hate more than Fanny's, it's the goddamn Quajin. Uh, Prince is really interested in getting the current sarcophagus. It's probably just like the rolls of coffins or something. You measly fuck. You got a lot of nerve showing up here, Liz. What did I do? You think it nice. Say you kill a goddamn primitive. I know what I saw. It's a goddamn set up by the crow. Nines has been with us every minute for the past week. No way he could have been there, man. He was fucking brain. Question. I don't know any more than you do, to be perfectly honest. I'm willing to believe you are a patsy in all this, but I'll be watching you here. Where did Nines go? Don't expect to see him until this bullshit is resolved. Alright. Listen, kid. You did what you had to do. Just a messenger, right? Skelter didn't take it so lightly. Don't worry about Skelter. He's like all these big barking puffs nowadays. They don't fight unless they get cornered. Where is Nines now? I hear Nines got word. I'd wait he's gonna be laying low for a while. Why? The anarchists will stand up for him, right? Yeah, sure, but there's packs of youngsters out there who love to make a name by bringing in the head of Nines Rodriguez. What can I do to help? <laughs> you just eat it, please, ain't you? I could give a goddamn kid, but I'm sure the boys here would appreciate it if you kept the business as usual. You hear me? I could do that. Just a second. I heard you were down poking around the museum. Yeah, I was there to get the sarcophagus for LaCroix. Seems like you had a lot riding on that sarcophagus. You get such a fierce bug in that powdered wig of his. Why, though? What does he want it so bad? I got another scenario for you here, kiddo. Gonna bounce it off you, see what you think. You ever hear of, uh, Diablerie? Actually, I have. When a younger vampire diablerizes an elder, the younger vampire gains all of their power. I see. Wow, you don't think... Prince is willing to tear L.A. apart to find this thing so it can happen. Why? What would a power-hungry vampire like the Croy want with a sleeping ancient? I wonder...
What should I do? He wants me to bring it to him. You gotta figure a drop of ancient blood would make any kindred just about invulnerable. Anyone who has a sarcophagus is gonna be thinking the same thing. If LaCroix gets a sarcophagus, at least we know where it is. Peace. Okay, two new emails. The Muses Muse and the Campaign. Alright. I do hope you I hope that I do hope the knights have been kind. You were on my mind tonight. And I must admit, it was inspiring. I wrote this for you. Death cannot smother love. Dead hearts are not always broken. Plant a kiss on my corpse. Love blossoms. Did you love it? It was alright. A little pretentious, but the campaign, a friend. The success of a campaign is weighed by the commitment of your opponent. Okay. So I was just, as I said, kind of making my rounds uh, throughout the different areas. And I just looked at the paper. Seng is dead. I don't know how. Jesus Christ, scared the shit out of me. I'm stuck. Because I... No, I want it up. I don't know how he's dead, considering we saved his daughter and killed the tongs. Hello? Oh, hey, Andrea. Yeah, I'm still at work. No, not tonight. I have plans. Sorry. So, what are you going to do tonight, hmm? Yeah, I know they're on sale. I picked some up. I'll call you later, okay, sweetie? I don't know how you still work, considering your boss is dead. Did Ming Zhao kill her? Kill him? Maybe let's have a quick chat with Ming Zhao. Was there something else, Kindred? I ran into your agents. They're dead now. A most unfortunate crossing of paths. They said something about an alliance, about an alliance between the Quajin and Lacroix. Let me assure you that my agents, the Chang brothers, speak with no diplomatic authority. But you do. So are you conspiring with Lacroix or not? I may or may not choose to speak with you, the prince, or anyone else for that matter. Speaking does not make us allies. What can I help you with? So, of course, not getting any answers. Alright, so I've gone all around the different areas. Um, nothing really new other than what I just showed. So, where to? Let's make our way to the Society of Leopold. And get back this uh, professor. Oh, wow. Greetings, Commander. Greetings, soldier. Anything to report? The Gladius Day has told us to keep a sharp eye. He thinks we may have some visitors this evening. Of course, sir. But duty, as always, is to protect the Brotherhood. All seems quiet for now. Good, good. Did he mention... Uh, what kind of visitors, sir? The only kind that matters, soldier. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Carry on.
Okay, guess I cannot go that way. Who's there? No one. Who's there? Mm. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Mm. I mean, if you insist. Yeah, so, uh, we kind of decided we're going to go at the stealth-like. It's going to slow the game down a little bit, but... Why go in guns blazing if you can avoid it, right? Me. Hopefully no one saw that. No thing they did. Hmm. 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 Who's there? Who's there? Hmm. Hmm. Son of a bitch. Man, this stealth mechanic is so glitched. Come on. Oh, come on, I just had it. There we go. Nope, there we go. Let's see if I can go in this way. Let me guess, I'm gonna need lockpick of 10. Okay, five, I'll take it. I will take it. Oh, well then. Lord, I pray now that you give me strength in battle, that I might overcome the hordes of Satan and his children. That I might wield the flaming sword of the Archangel and defend myself with your shield of faith. And that my victories are many and my wounds few. That I might further your kingdom here on earth. And if I meet death tonight, then let it be first that I cast a mighty host of demons back <laughs> to the lake of fire as they came. And then rest finally in the light of the Oh, he's praying again. What is going on there? That's so funny. Come 
Human. That's shiny. I mean, sure, I'll take it. Brother Grunfeld seems particularly uneasy this evening. Yes, LaCroix has begun to move more openly, and Brother Grunfeld grows impatient. Ah, yes, LaCroix. As always, Brother Grunfeld focuses only on his old nemesis. Let us hope his fanaticism best serves the interests of our order, and not merely his own unresolved grievances. Shh, are you mad? Brother Grunfeld will not tolerate such insubordination. Hold your tongue. You know upon whose direct authority he acts? Yes, I know. Far be it from me to question the edict of the Holy See. You would do best to remember your place. Brother Grunfeld is a faithful warrior. He has battled Satan's spawn for longer than you've been alive. Then I pray the Lord grant me the same years to fight in his army. Amen. Amen. Ooh, we got a journal, folks. Alright. Let's see. This journal is inscribed with the initials GB. I wonder whose it could be. We have tracked LaCroix to Los Angeles. He has made his lair in the penthouse of the Venture Tower, hiding behind some legitimate business front while commanding his legion of demons by cover of night. I pray to the Lord for strength in the coming days, but there is a shadow that hangs over my heart like the dark wings of Lucifer himself. It is not LaCroix, I fear, nor his underlings, but there is fear in my heart nonetheless. An ancient evil is stirring. May God grant me the strength to overcome it. Woke up this morning, and the sun on my face was a little comfort. We lost three of the brethren last night in a fierce battle with some hellspawn. Minions, sorry, of the vampire we know as Alistair Grout. We have been unable to find his lair, but it's only a matter of time. May God have mercy on the souls of our brethren. The mystery surrounding the Uncurrent sarcophagus and the massacre on the Elizabeth Dane has my superiors troubled. I've been told to expect a package in the mail that may be helpful in shedding some light on this artifact. Its arrival seems convenient in light of LaCroix's recent arrival. Something is amiss, yet I cannot see what machinations are at play. I will wait and have faith that the Lord will see us through. We finally found the lair of Alistair Grout, but it seems we were too late. The demon had already been sent to hell before I was able to dispatch him. I ran across a younger vampire who seemed unaware of Grout's demise. No doubt one of his sucklings came to visit, uh, come to visit its master. I took care of that demon and destroyed the house. I thank God for his eternal watchfulness over me and the Brotherhood. There seems a great unrest among the vampire brood here in the city. Perhaps the arrival of LaCroix was unwelcome to the rest of the damned? I know not, nor do I care. They will all burn, whether by my hand or the Father's. The uncurrent sarcophagus was stolen today from the Museum of Natural History. The police report we obtained leads me to believe that the demon spawn were behind it, and the book I received yesterday from the Vatican only reinforces that theory. I know now that these may very well be the end times, and the time of the final struggle may, be, may well be upon us. I dreamed of LaCroix last night, of his hideous visage burned to ash in a great inferno. 
may it be that this vision given to me my God, and that I will be the vessel of his holy vengeance. The years have been long, too long. Perhaps the soul of my father may finally rest in peace. Brother Kriegler reported a disturbance at the vampire coven we have been observing at the mansion in Hollywood. It seems there was a party, and that something interrupted their fleshly rituals. He could say no more of the matter, but I smell LaCroix's meddling hand in this. All the better. May the demons feed on themselves until the world is rid of their evil. Uh, disturbance in a mansion in Hollywood. Oh, it's probably the Zamitzi place, I would think. I had dreams of fires in Griffith Park last evening. I know not of their origin, but I fear the worst. I received a letter from His Holiness, warning me that he is fearful that the apocalypse is upon us, and that my mission has become more important than ever. I hold his words close to my heart, and will fight for righteousness until I am no longer able. I took Johansa from his hotel room last evening, and brought him back here to the monastery. I am convinced that LaCroix will try to find him, as he is the only one with the knowledge about how the artifact can be opened. The brethren have been warned to expect an assault on the monastery, and they are ready to die for his glory, as am I. May the Holy Father bless us in these last dark days, and may the children of Satan burn forever in the hell fires of damnation. Amen. Oh, jeez. No, you saw nothing. Who's there? Hmm. hmm. <laughs> Damn, that actually hurt me too. Oh shit! That was actually kind of funny though. Come on out, I got something for you. Oh, you do? What is it? So that goes upstairs. Difficulty of nine, god damn it. You saw nothing. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Who's there? Who's there? <laughs> And these guys are tough. Hmm. Who's there? Who's there? Just me. <laughs> That's a big ass knife. Oh, 
Okay, before I go further, I don't know if this is where I'm supposed to go. But I'm gonna go up first. well hidden behind that guy. Society of Leopold interior key. Vampire Apocrypha. No idea what this is. A vampire Apocrypha. The book is styled Vampire Apocrypha. Unidentified sarcophagus discovered by Julius of Gaul, 1068 AD, near Ankara, Ottoman Empire. The origin of this dark and mysterious talisman is largely unknown and is mostly considered a myth. If not for the etchings of Julius of Gaul, who first discovered and then subsequently re entombed the artifact, there would be almost no historical record of the artifact save for various unfounded legends of its evilness scattered throughout the writings of the Brotherhood. Historians and theologians alike, theologians alike, have been unable to ascertain its exact age or place of origin. Although the symbols and inscriptions seem to hint that the artifact is from the area of ancient summer or Mesopotamia. Sorry guys. It has never been opened, and therefore any myths pertaining to who or what might be encased in it are total speculation. Vampiric origins have not been ruled out, although many scholars within the church seem to think that it may hold the remains of an ancient king, whose name so far has been lost at the ages. Let it be said, though, that the writings of Julius Gaul describe that the artifact as being a nefarious and dreadful thing, full of some ancient and undeniable evil. He attributes the death of his scribe to the artifact, who, upon setting his eyes on it for the first time, began convulsing uncontrollably and promptly died. Interesting. So we, if we didn't come up here, we would have missed out on some lore. And I guess the key to the door. So, good. All right, let's head back down. Really? Yeah. 
surprised you didn't see that. Wonder if like the the clacking of the guns actually echoes throughout the the fucking caves. Oh, okay. Yes, be cautious. But also don't go together. Like that. Fall in the water. Come on. Yeah. That's cool. So why is there like Italian music playing? Okay, can I know that? Hi. still feel it in my wounds. They'll kill me. They'll come back with their brands and it will burn. Keep your voice down. I would talk so they burn me. Again. And again. And again. Their eyes. They, they enjoyed it. Before they come back, I'm begging you. Let me out. I guess he didn't make it, eh? Because we tried to get him out of the club. We tried to help him. I got something that might help you heal up a few of those wounds. I once drank from the most desirable women in the world. Right now, this bag looks better than any of them. Okay, don't go anywhere. I'll be back. Of course. Can I break it? It's really stupid I can't break the locks. Okay, so I guess I'll have to find the person who has the key for it. save. Are the stories true about him, I mean? Brother Grunfeld? Yes. What stories have you heard, young brother? There are many. Some say he saw his own mother eaten alive by a coven of witches, and others that he once killed an elder vampire with his bare hands. There are even whispers that he is the resurrected Saint Leopold, come to lead his armies into the final battle against the armies of darkness. <laughs> Not all stories you hear are true. Brother Grunfeld is a good soldier just as you will become if you have faith in God and the discipline to stand in his army. It is also said that he once killed a man of the Brotherhood because he refused to follow orders. Hmm. Some stories you hear are true, young brother.
There's a lot of these people here. That is not fair. That was not fair. Run, run, run. Okay, that was my own stupidity. Okay, now they're not moving any farther? Come on, guys. what you assholes get. And now you decide to come all the way here. Saw nothing. All right, fine. Making sure I work with these guys now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking take it. Yeah, you just you just chill there. Yeah, there's no one left. That's a cock. That does say cock. Oh, there's another guy there. But he can't see us. You know, I'm curious how this gun handles. I thought it was, uh... How do I use the... How do I use the scope? Damn it, I thought I was a bullet sponge.
Okay. Well. Yeah. Guess we found the key. Let's go let this fucker out. see me again I'm gonna go somewhere no one will ever see this face again <laughs> good luck in Canada and I do feel kind of bad for him oh I thought he jumped in the water and he's gone I do kind of feel bad for the guy. I mean, it's not like he ever asked to be a vampire. Like Isaac just literally changed him, just because he, just because he liked him. I did not see that. Is there another guy? Yes, there is. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Oh, fuck it. Oh, there he is. That was that was definitely my own fault. I should have made sure that uh, the coast was clear. You missed. I knew your husband would do us a service to Satan, but I set this help as the arch fiend himself. Where is the coin? Uh, give me Johansson, and I'll let you live. He is under divine protection. If you want him, come take him if you can. He's as good as mine. Am I really going to have to chase this bastard? Where is he? Okay, you know what? I even hitting him.
I'm not doing dick all to the guy. I should have waited until he was uh, almost out of ammo. You know what? I'm just gonna use celerity. Oof. Let, let's see how celerity two does first. Pretty good. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Show yourself. You're the one that's fucking hiding from me. Soak all that damage. Okay, and this should be the last of it. Hopefully. Yep. Everything. There's no reason for you to keep me here. Let me go! Dr. Johansson? I am an archaeologist. You can't hold me here like this. I am a hostage. I do not need protection. Bring me back to my hotel at once. There's a boat not far from here. Help me and I'll help you escape. Yeah, yeah, okay. Anything. Just get me out of these caverns and away from these crazies. I think I'm starting to get pneumonia. <coughs> Tell me what you know about the uncurrent sarcophagus. The sarcophagus? You went through all that trouble for the sarcophagus? Yeah, I'll tell you. 
But don't you think it would be better to get out of here before those men come back? Um, I dealt with them. They won't give us any problems. I guess if you can get all the way here, you deserve the answers. But can I make one request first? After I answer your questions, you help me escape. Sure. All right. Where should I begin? Uh, uh, what can you tell me about the sarcophagus? Let's start with the history of the Ankaran sarcophagus. That is a long and interesting legend, lost and found throughout the ages. Tell me, are you familiar with the Assyrians? I mean, I am, but yeah. Well, the Assyrians lived in Mesopotamia, a region between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. Most of this territory is now modern-day Iraq, Iran, Turkey, and Syria. Go on. They were warmongers, conquerors, a people driven to expand by their kings. Even before the Romans, they migrated their conquered people to the territories to stem revolt. But I... Uh, I'm afraid I'm getting off the subject. Go on. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, the markings on the sarcophagus seem to hint that it is from some time between 1050 and 800 BC, which was a period of fierce expansion by the Assyrians. Oddly, for those years, only one king shows up on the historical record. Continue. While most likely he wiped all evidence of his predecessor's existence or passed the name to his heirs, one monarch... Mesarach, the one-eyed king, is given credit for the territory and achievements of this time. But he would have had to have been over 250 years old, like a Dracula or something. So what does this have to do with the sarcophagus? I find it hard to believe a sarcophagus with a person as important as Mesarach could remain in, oh, what is the word, pristine or intact condition for so many years. But this is who is believed to be contained within. Are you sure? Men educated, guess. Maybe you have not heard. It was stolen from the museum before we had a chance to open it. Usually we use equipment to carbon date, x-ray, and take air samples before we pry open the lid. You compared him to a vampire. Any reason? You know, it is interesting that you ask me that. The goddess on the outside of the sarcophagus was Lamastu. In Assyrian myth, Lamastu was an evil demoness who preyed on humans. Many people cite her as the mother of vampire myth, and... And? The engravings on and found around the sarcophagus portray a regal figure drinking the blood of his enemies. Now, this image is found in many cultures, specifically among those of royal lineage. But there is a quite scientific explanation. Which is? A disorder known as porphyria. In short, it is caused by a deficiency of the iron in the blood, and in many cultures, for the nobility that could conceivably get away with the cure, the treatment was to drink human blood. So Meserach drank human blood? Perhaps. Drinking the blood of your enemies is, if nothing else, symbolic. True. It can inspire fear in your foes and dissidents, don't misunderstand me. I in no way believe it was a vampire. Vampires. That's what caused this whole mess. These maniacs believe they exist. How did you find the sarcophagus? Uh, that is... You see, in archaeology, one can spend years looking for a dig site... Following local rumors, studying old maps, it's a complicated process, very boring. I'm interested, go on. Finding and organizing a dig is the least interesting part of an archaeologist's job. Trust me, you don't want to hear about it. Do you really believe Mesorak is inside the sarcophagus? That I can't be sure of, nor can anyone. 
but I promise you it is more likely to be filled with uh, gummy bears than vampires. Perhaps maybe a mummy, but not likely the kind to go about chasing <laughs> Abbott and Costello. I actually got that reference. It was a it was a funny movie. What else do you know about vampires? Not much, really. I'm an archaeologist, not a mythologist. But I do know that Lamastu, the Assyrian demoness, was thought to have been the inspiration for Lilith, the first wife of Adam in the Jewish Old Testament, another source of the vampire myth. Now that is interesting. So how does the sarcophagus open? Ah, quite interesting. There is a surprisingly complex mechanical lock on the face of the sarcophagus. By sheer luck, we were able to find the key not far from the sarcophagus. Why no one ever found it and robbed it, it's perplexing. A key, of course. Do you have it? How strange, you would ask. I haven't seen the key since it was loaded onto the Elizabeth Dane in Turkey. It was stolen before the sarcophagus even. I am still hopeful that the police find both pieces before the contents can be disturbed. Do you have a copy of the key? No, it's not the kind of key you can copy at the hardware store. It's actually very sophisticated, and I meant to study it at the museum. I've answered all your questions. Do you think now you could please get me out of here? I don't care who you are or why you've had so many questions about the sarcophagus. I just want to leave this place. All right, I'll free you. There's a boat nearby. We can escape on it. Thank you, my friend. I don't know where you came from, but I will never forget this kindness. No problem. Oh, of course he's still alive. Oh, fuck me. Sorry, Johan, you're on your own. Ah! I saved Ash when I did. So I don't think I'd have time to do both. We don't get to see the big what? kaboom. What the fuck? That is not good. But unfortunately, we're going to have to save it for next time because we're already... I'm, uh, I'm going to be heavily cutting this video anyway. But I'm assuming we're already well over an hour. Because uh, it's showing I've recorded for two hours already at this point. Um, yeah, uh, I interesting. Uh, I guess that'll probably be the last of the Society of Leopold since they were, you know, all in that fucking mansion and underground as well. And he blew up the whole thing, which I'm assuming collapses the cave and, like, destroys the whole building. So bye-bye Society of Leopold, I guess. Or at least the California branch or LA branch, whatever. Um, I have no idea what just happened uh, with um, look look. La I'm I'm guessing it's from the the building. <clears throat> I'm assuming something happened with the sarcophagus. Something blew up, or they were trying to blow it up with explosives, and the whole thing just. 
I don't know. Well, we'll, we'll find out next time. Uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.